When I was in junior high school over 60 years ago, I went to a Bible camp in Colorado. And during that week, I outlined the book of Colossians. It became my favorite book in the Bible because of that simple tool that I got way back in junior high. It gave me a tool that I could use all my life. That's why I'm so passionate about Kingdom Life University. Every one of our students is going to outline the New Testament, every book in the New Testament in the two-year course. They are going to write their own living commentary of the New Testament. This will be a tool that is so valuable, it will be like a treasure the rest of their life. Let me show you some of the clips of the teaching that they'll receive. Blood, us right off of that slave market, and he presented us holy and blameless and perfect in his presence. He, he redeemed us from the penalty and the power of sin and from the future redemption, even from the presence of sin in eternity. I mean, the power of this blood of redemption. Think about it. Are you thankful today? Are you thankful for what he has done today? Man, Jesus has redeemed us and then he has forgiven us. To forgive means to send away. Uh, the cross literally sends away our sins. It's a picture of the scapegoat of the Old Testament on the Day of Atonement, where the high priest laid his hands upon that scapegoat and sent him away into the wilderness. A picture of forgiveness. He has forgiven us of our sins according to the work of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in wisdom and prudence, it says in verse 8. Hallelujah. He has forgiven us. He's forgiven us. To be forgiven by Jesus Christ, is that awesome or what? That's powerful. And then he's revealed God's will to us. Look at verse 8. Where he abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will. What's a mystery in the Bible? It's a divine truth known only through revelation. Mysteries can only be understood in the, by the Spirit of God. We're going to see that in a few moments. So God has taken the mystery of his will. It's hidden from the world, but God shows us his will for our lives, his purpose for our lives. Daily, he leads us, he guides us into the purpose of his will. God's word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. There is nothing as powerful as the word of God. That's why Kingdom Life University is not about the Bible, it is the Bible, written in your own language, written from your own heart. What Kingdom Life University does is guide you through these steps, powerful outlines, contextual teaching of every chapter of the New Testament. This will be a tool, a treasure, that you will value the rest of your life. Good. So listen to the first chapter of Revelation as I play it, and uh, try to pick up these three things, if you would. The Revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ to all things that he saw. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it Church, for the time. Every time they got together, read the entire book of Revelation. <clears throat> Could that be why the early church was so powerful? So powerful. They read it every time. The entire book, all 22 chapters. Nobody got to the buffet that day. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even start preaching till after that. <laughs> so it's a powerful book, and we need to read it and study it. And there's blessings that come to those that read and study. Jesus is the King yeah. of yeah. Kings. Yeah. And who are the kings spoken about there? We are. we are the kings. He has made us a kingdom of kings and priests unto our God. Yes. And we shall reign on earth. Yes. Just to repeat of last week, you get it all. All right. God who at various times and in various ways spoke in times past, Hebrews 1.1, 1, 1, uh, to the fathers by the prophets, hath in these what? Last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Smile at me a minute. Look up. We're joint heirs. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> if my daddy owns it, yeah. Yeah. What's his? Mine. Mine. And what's mine is his. Amen. He's not called us servants, he's called us sons and daughters. Is this fun or what? Are you just getting a little worked up here? Through me also made the worlds, and being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he hath made, and when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. So Jesus is the final word. Jesus is the final word. He's the king of creation. He's the king over all kings, as we've said already. Well, I won't go through all the scriptures on this. But just I want to thank one. you for considering Kingdom Life University. Again, I just want to tell you that your own living commentary of the New Testament, written by your hand, is going to be a treasure for the rest of your life. Our desire is to empower you in the Word of God, so you'll make a difference in your world. God bless you.